monthly reading vlog. That is what this is. I don't like this wall. Better. Monthly reading vlog for February. Not log, vlog. Monthly reading vlog. That's a thing I'm gonna do now. Monthly reading vlogs. But hello, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading vlog for February. I've seen people do things like this and or and I like watching reading vlogs and I like doing reading vlogs so I figured I might do monthly ones. So let's try it. Let us try that. It is February 2nd. It is like 10 p.m. on February 2nd. And this is going to be February's reading vlog where I will hopefully read some books. I mean February is a short month but I wanted to read 10 books between January and February. I only read two, bu two books in January so right now I am reading This Arc of Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh, which this book is now out, actually. I wanted to finish this before it came out, but I am me, so I did not manage to do that. But I am this many pages in. How far am I in? I'm 120 pages into Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. So the first book that I will be finishing reading this month, this is the first book that I will be reading this month. So I have lots of books to read. I have a lot of library books that I need to read. I would go through some books I plan to read, but um, I am half awake right now. Books, reading a book. Oh, I have a floor now. Do you wanna see my floor real quick? For the record, I did not previously have a floor. I went on a trip, my dad put in flooring. There's now a floor, it's, it's a little dusty. Because I did not have a floor, it was just under floor, the under, the under floor, which um, I don't recommend just having an under floor, but now I have a real floor. And it matches my hair, kinda. Which was not, not really purposeful, but now I have a floor. So that's the only exciting thing that I have to add. I haven't read it all in a couple of days because I just have been dead inside, so hello Mr. Cuddles. Hello. Hello, it is... When is today? It's now the 7th of February, so I thought I would check in even though I've read all of one page. One page, if that... Oh, my bookmark wants to run away. No! And there's a cat in my suitcase that is open. Cookie, why? But I am still reading Reign of the Fallen. I just haven't been reading, even though... I just don't know if I'm really in the mood for this now and I know it's because that sounds silly because I was so excited for it and I still am and it's just like oh I don't feel like it <laughs> that's awful to say I am really pumped for something that finally came in from the library and that is A Poison Dark and Drowning by Jessica Clueth super pumped about that one I really enjoyed A Shadow Bright and Burning so anyway so yeah not much reading has been done but I wanted to update you anyway with something boring. I need to get those cats out of my suitcase. Mama, no! My dad is doing a thing and I am about to film the rip it or ship it tag. Where's my book? 200 pages into this now. I'm 36% into the collar and I'm 200 pages into this which is noteworthy. And I'm going to go to the library shortly which I will show you because I like the library. Oh my god, my eyebrows are distracting me. So I'm over halfway finally. Looks like things are picking up. So, yeah, that is my update. I will see you at the library. Yeah. This is a horrible angle. Wow, this is just awful. Anyway, I got some books at the library. I forgot to film at the library. I got Gemina. I'm really excited. I could read this like right now. I've been waiting for this at the digital library, but I figured I saw it when I was just walking past. So I was like, Gemina. Yeah, it's really cool in person. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks way better in person. I am so excited. Oh, I got something else spacey. I got The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. S.J. Kincaid. Yeah, which I've been interested in. And, I, and they don't have this at the digital library anymore. Like, their license for it expired, so they don't have it. And since I, also, since I got The Diabolic, I also got The Empress, which is the second book. By S.J. Kincaid. All I know is that I think like androids or robots are involved, maybe? So that's about all I know. I have a lot of library books here. If I'm being honest, I'll show you. Hold on. Let me... This is going to be my nightstand, but it's not in my room yet. Oh, flash. See, I have a whole bunch of books here that I need to get to. I also picked up this today. 
because I need to read this trilogy. And yeah, some books and some down here too. There are more hidden behind there. Yeah, these are all library books except for Forged of a Thousand Lanterns, which is an arc. Um, I have a bit of a problem and my problem is books. Let's put this on top of here actually. Let's set these. Finally, I am reading Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, or rather I'm going to be listening to the 12 hours of it apparently. And it's Valentine's Day so I thought it was fitting. Oh my god, my screen is so dirty though. Oh god. I finished Pride and Prejudice. Prejudice. Yeah, I can't say the word prejudice right. Prejudice. Prejudiced. The audiobook, I finished listen to, listening to it just moments ago, and I think I would I would rate it highly. I think I'm I think I'm giving it five stars. I didn't think so for most of the book, but somehow it enraptured me, and I just it, I don't I can't even explain it. Like like part of the book, I was kind of sitting there going, "Wow, this is kind of dumb." Thank you, Mama. You know, in modern sensibilities, a lot of it is kind of like. I don't know, by the end of it, I had a lot of feeling. I really did enjoy it, and I'm very, very glad that it ended happy. Like, I kind of, like, I knew it would. I was so glad that it did. Mama really wants her opinion known as well. And it only took me, like, three days to listen all the way through, and I didn't want to stop listening to it is the important thing. So that is my first book actually finished in February, I think. So that's not great. We're over halfway through February and I've only read one book. Some reading vlog this is. I'm still reading um, Reign of the Fallen, but I haven't picked it up in a few days. It's just sitting here on my nightstand, which is finally in my room, by the way. All my library books are right here in front of me in my room, waiting and staring at me. I'm also still reading The Caller, the ebook for The Caller. Hello, Sammy. What's up? What's, what's up, dog? Dog? Do you have an opinion? Okay. I'm still reading The Caller and I think I'm about 40% into that or 40 something percent in maybe now finally. That book is just, it's such a kind of almost serious book that it takes longer to read because it's, there's not a lot of levity in it. But I'm hoping to finish that book sooner rather than later so I can move on to my other ebooks because they are all very neglected. Even though I do have plenty of um, physical books to read. First I need to finish Reign of the Fallen, which I am enjoying again. It finally picked up again. The middle was a little bit, mm, a little bit tough to slog through, but I'm going to get back to this if I ever feel like reading a physical book, which is just not a thing I really do much. I just don't do it a lot because I'm so used to just sitting at the computer and reading on the computer or on my phone that reading a book in physical format to me is now very difficult, which is really weird, I know. Once I got a Kindle, which I don't even use my Kindle anymore, I might add. I gave it to my mother because I don't use the Kindle, I use my phone now. That just sort of sealed ebooks as my preferred, preferred form of reading. Because I'm just, I'm just very, I sit on the computer all day. I'm very much a computer, little computer person. That's why I'm so pale, because I never go out. Because I prefer to sit at the computer and not do anything. Anyway, I just wanted to update and say that I finished a book. I finally, I finished one book. We need to finish some more. Torty, what are you doing? 10 o'clock on the 18th, and guess who just finished another book? Reign of the Fallen is complete. Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh is now complete. I, I, I'm not sure how I'm gonna rate it. It's like a 4.5 though. So like I'm gonna rate it well, but I don't know whether it should be a 4.5 that's put as a 4 or a 4.5 that's put as a 5. Still thinking about it. I really enjoyed the beginning and the end, I would say the most. I, I had very high expectations for this book, and it's very hard to re reach high expectations, so I would say that it did the best that it could. I should read Gemina first, or next rather, because while it's super big, I think it'll be a, a reasonably quick read, and it's just sitting there and staring at me, so I think I need to read this next, as far as physical books go. Ebook-wise, I'm still reading The Caller. I also opened Unearth by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. <laughs> so, who, who knows? There's just, 
so many sources that I get books from. I get books from the regular library, I get books from the e-library, e-library, and then there's like a connection to the e-library that's like not the e-library where there's more, some more books, and it's just, it, 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 it's just a whole thing. Right, Torty? Right, fluff butt. Anyway, two books down for February, but we can always read more. Okay, firstly, I don't read with this bright-ass light on. That light is too bright. But look at this book. It just stays open by itself because it's just so big. Oh, maybe not after the beginning. Okay, maybe not. I bet I could, though. Eh. The middle does. This part. Okay, maybe it doesn't entirely stay open by itself, but... Still, 659 pages. It's a big book, but it'll go quickly because it's written in different ways. I loved um, the first book, Illumine, so I'm very excited to be reading this. That is the most X-Files thing that I've ever seen in my life. It is the 19th now. I am nearly a hundred pages into Gemina. I also just filmed my review video for Reign of the Fallen, which might get to be up this Wednesday, but also might not because I had to reset my computer. Well, I didn't have to reset my computer. My dad thought that I should reset my computer, so I blame him, but I resetted my computer a bit. I still have all my files and things, but my programs got all screwy, so I can't open Sony Vegas, which I use for editing. Can't even open Photoshop, can't... E right now I'm having trouble even importing my photos and video to the computer. Like, for some reason, it just doesn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, lots of struggling today is how I'm feeling. <laughs> oh, yikes. I look bad. Can you see that my cat scratched me? Cookie scratched me. She jumped right on my face this morning. It was unpleasant. Then I started another audiobook. I started listening to Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertelli, and I finished it. I started listening to it. It's like a six-hour audiobook, and I started listening to it about 9 p.m. last night, and uh, finished it about 3.30 in the morning. I went to sleep by then, but I just, I listened to it all the way through. I did not expect it to like, did not expect to like it that much. Sorry, I'm a little there. Marshmallow. Hello, Mushy. Hello, Marshmallow. What's up, Marshy? What's up, Marshy? <laughs> marshmallow. But so far, a good reading month. I've already read three books this February. I gave that one five stars because if you listen to a book all the way to like four in the morning, it's a good book. I definitely think that audiobooks might help me get more reading done because it gets more words in my brain. Because I get very distracted trying to look at a page. Like, if I'm not very focused, I'll just read, like, a few sentences and then go back to playing on the internet and refreshing Twitter. I am very distractible. It's a lot easier for me to just listen to a book than try to focus on pages. So, I guess I'll be listening to more audiobooks in the future. Because it seems like so far, all the audiobooks I've really... I've, I've liked all the audiobooks I've read so far, which all been romances notably or romantically inclined which were the gentleman's guide to vice and virtue pride and prejudice and now S simon versus the homo sapiens agenda so yeah i'm still not even quite awake it's like 5 p.m well there's my open computer because only one fan is working and it's one of the auxiliary fans <gasps> i don't know if you can actually see it see it's just i don't know it's just <laughs> broken. Also, I found another Fallout Boy song to be obsessed with, which reminds me I need to do that Fallout Boy tag. The mania tag. A frosty royal milk tea. Like, it's a little bit nonsensical. Oh my god, Marshy. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's a little nonsensical, but like, just like the title, it's about as nonsensical as the title. But it's got a good beat, and I even put down one of the lyrics in my bullet journal. That's how, that's how dorky I am, by the way. I have a bullet journal. Yo. Mama, who are you attacking? Who's back there? Bluff butt. Hello. Don't have ten cats. Ooh.
This angle sucks. Guess who went to the library for one book and came out with six? So the book that I went to the library to get, A Poison, Dark and Drowning by Jessica Clue West in hardback because I don't want to wait from it from the digital library even though I can't even read it right now. I'm in the middle of a hundred books. So. so this is a book haul, obviously, a library book haul. Roar by Cora McCormack which I have been really interested in since before it came out because of the cover and I think the synopsis but mostly the cover it feels like it speaks to me Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray and then I've got this trilogy here by Ray Carson oh hello Froggy Walk on Earth a Stranger second is Like a River Glorious Into the Bright Unknown I just I went in to just get the one book that I had held at the library then I just walked over to the YA section and came out with a whole bunch more and didn't even have a bag for them. <sighs> Reading wise, I think I'm maybe 200 pages into Gemna now. I'm 50% into The Caller. I haven't started anything else, which is good. There is a cat. Hello, cat. Library books. Just what I need. More of those. More books to read. So, it is February 25th. I'm about um, 400 and something pages into Gemina. Mama, I got book mail because I won a Twitter giveaway, which is the only way I get books anymore is giveaways. <laughs> uh, that's the only way my broke ass gets books anymore. Giveaways. But I won this from Twitter from Toxic Vile, Vile, Toxic Vile Plume, which I think is Pokemon. That's Pokemon, right? Hi, Marshmallow. Open it up and admire it. Oh, it came out really perfectly. They're a perfect angle there. Da -da. Ooh, yes. That's Amazon for you. Sight Witch, which is a prequel book to The Truth Witch, the Witchland series by Susan Denard. Chose it from four different books because I need to start my collection of these books at some point, so why not now? And I believe this follows a secondary character beforehand. Ooh, wow, look at that. Whatever that means. Before Safi and Isolet, Isolet, before Safi and Isolet battle the Blood Witch, before Merrick returned from the dead, Ryber Forza was a sight witch sister at a secluded convent, waiting to be called by her goddess into the depths of the mountain. There she would receive the gift of foretelling, but when that call never comes, Ryber finds herself the only sister without the sight. Oh, yeah, now you get off the thing just when I start to film you. Sam's in! Doggy dog, 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 run, run. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's about 10.30 on the 28th of February, and I haven't finished reading Gemina yet. I want to see how many pages I have left. Page 600. So I have only 58 pages to go before I finish this book. I want to finish it before midnight just so I can count it as one of my February books instead of having to include it in March. But I wanted to show you something way cooler than me reading. Cat condo, condo for cats. Just sort of wildly appeared in our driveway. Look at it, it's as tall as my father. Look at it, it's perfect for all my kitties. They're only now just checking it out because I just vacuumed it as best I could because it did just sort of randomly appear in our driveway. Not entirely sure how, but it's just, it's beautiful. Look at this thing. I've always wanted a giant cat condo tower. Hey, that's my hair tie. Hey, hey, hey. Did she take it? Oh, that whore. It's my hair tie. It's like the last one I have left. This angle sucks. Okay, well, whatever. We're just going to live with this crappy angle for a moment. Anyway, so it is now March. It's March 1st, so let us wrap up this February reading vlog. I look awful. I did get as much reading done as I wanted to. I did not finish Gemina last night, unfortunately, which I'm very disappointed in myself for not finishing it. There's only 58 pages left, and now it's going to be my first book for March. What did I read in February? So in February, I only read three books, apparently. Wow, really? Eh. Don't fall down. I thought I had read more like four or five. No, I read three. I read Pride and Prejudice, which I listened to on audiobook, which I gave a five stars. I read Reign of the Fallen, 
from January through February, which I gave a 4.5 stars to, and I would hold it up, but I'm all the way over there. Then I listened to Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which I gave another five stars. So two audiobooks and one regular book, and I read most of Gemini. I read the first 600 pages of Gemini, and I'll probably give this five stars, like I'm telling you now. Probably gonna give this five stars. And I will go more in depth on my thoughts when I do my January and February wrap up, which I will film tomorrow, I guess, or not, not today, because I look like crap today. But, so, that was February. I only read one book that I had down on my, like, TBR for February. I make, like, every month I've been making, like, a TBR of, like, ten books, and the books on this list, only one of them ended up in the red pile. February is now over. It was a very short month, but it was, oh, it wasn't the greatest month in the world. It wasn't the worst month, but it, it wasn't great. It wasn't great, folks. Anyway, so that completes this February reading vlog. And uh, I hope that it was not the most boring reading vlog you have ever seen in your life. If you did somehow enjoy this, you can subscribe. See, I hate saying that. Oh god. Oh god. I can't do it. I can't tell people to subscribe to my channel. It makes me feel like a jackass. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! Look at the kitty. There's the kitty. Can you even see it?